the next is the sphere now in sphere let's see what is the difference between a curved surface or a total surface as we know that every angle of the sphere is a smooth is not is a surface which is curved therefore the whole of total surface area is nothing but the curved surface area as i see this this is a sphere or a globe or a football or a cricket ball so this sphere if suppose my internal radius is r the distance from center to one of the corner of the sphere is r then here the curved surface area of a sphere is nothing but the total surface area of a sphere so both the curved surface and total surface are equal and that is equal to 4 pi r square is what we get as the formula the proof of which is beyond the syllabus where the curved surface or this is this now because the curved surface and total surface are equal in a sphere we simply call this as surface area of sphere is 4 pi r squared unit squared is how we understand the surface area now next comes on the volume the volume of the sphere is given by Four by three pi r cube, where r is the radius of the sphere, which is from the center to one of its corner on the sphere on the surface. So surface area and the volume of sphere using the respective form. Hemisphere. Now what happens if I cut the sphere exactly in the middle? So what happens when I cut the sphere and exactly so for example when i take a sphere and just cut it exactly in the middle with its radius r then i get two regions So these are the two regions which I obtain when I cut the sphere in the upper region and the lower region, cutting exactly on its radius, it's exactly on the radius, on the diameter, taking it through the diameter, I get two regions which are hemispheres which I get. Now in this, I see that the radius is R and then we have two regions here one is the curved surface this is the curved surface and this is the the region there are two regions here one is this region is a circle and this region is curved surface so using these two regions i'm going to find the area or the total surface area or the curved surface of the hemisphere therefore csa of hemisphere will be exactly half of the surface area of sphere because exactly it is cut in the middle this part is half of this Therefore, half of the surface area of sphere, which we have already found to be 4, 4 pi r square, 4 pi r square, which on simplification gives 2 pi r square. So, curved surface area of a hemisphere is 2 pi r square. Now, when I want to find TSA of hemisphere, this is CSA plus the circle which is on the top so I get two regions one is the circle and one is the hemisphere curved surface which on simplification gives 2 pi r square 
plus area of circle we all know is pi r square. Therefore, this on adding gives me 3 pi r square is the total surface area and 2 pi r square is the curved surface area of hemisphere. Similarly, when I take the volume, then volume of hemisphere is exactly as I see because this object is half of the entire object. When I cut the total ball exactly in the middle, I get half the ball and half the ball is half the volume of the original volume. Therefore, volume of hemisphere is simply half the volume of sphere. But the volume of sphere is already identified to be 4 by 3 pi r cube, which on simplification gives 2 by 3 pi r cube, which is the volume of hemisphere. The curved surface area, the total surface area, and the volume of the hemisphere is how we understand the concept. But the most important point we need to note here because some of the questions are very challenging is that since the radius is r, the depth of the ball is also r. So imagining this depth of the ball also to be r is very useful in visualization when we do many complex problems. So depth of the ball is radius of the ball, the hemispherical ball is how we understand through the geometrical structure.